Hey guys, I'm Ronnie and I'm going to teach you how to play this drum fill. This drum fill could be used in a pop punk beat or even any sort of rock beat really. I've done a lesson on how to play a pop punk beat so check that one out and then you could maybe put the two things together. Alright, let's break down how to play this fill and the best way to learn it. The fill is actually just a single stroke roll, so make sure you can play that first. I'd break that fill down into two parts. Now the first part would be this. And the second part would be this. So how I would actually practice it is with a click and what I would actually do, I would loop one of the parts. So say let's loop the first part to begin with. The reason why it's good to do that is because sometimes you might struggle with a particular part in the fill and then all you want to do is just loop that one part over and over again until gradually you'll get it. But let's move on to the second part with the click. So once you've got those two parts, then the next step is to put them all together. So I would make sure that you practice that at least five minutes every day with a click preferably and it would probably take about two or three weeks if you practice it every day to speed it up. Now to get it up to the speed I was playing it at the start it might take a bit longer but you have to be patient with yourself and notice if you're struggling at a certain speed to then bring the speed back down and practice again slower. There's nothing wrong with playing slow. You want to make sure you're playing it nice and smoothly and not sloppily like this. You want to make sure it's nice and smooth, even played fast like this. Now you can play the fill and hopefully now you can play the beat from the previous lesson as well. Let's put the two together. So when you're playing that, I would make sure that you play the beat for three bars and then the fill is actually a bar long. So you'd leave that one to the fourth bar. So the last thing I want to mention is you want to actually start the beat with the crash. So what it will do is it will make it sound like you're hitting the crash after you're doing the drum fill, but it's actually at the start of the beat. Thanks for watching the video, I hope you found it useful and see you in the next one.